Strictly Lindy or Jack and Jill? Which is the better format? Let's take a look. <laughs> Jamin here, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of my content. Both the Strictly Lindy and Jack and Jill are phenomenal competition formats for swing dancers. The Strictly format allows dancers to choreograph their performance to the music ahead of time, which enables them to project the most calculated version of themselves. Very advanced practitioners even choreograph certain parts of their performance to look as if they were just improvising. This is to make it feel more natural and authentic. This format consolidates the excitement and brevity of a jam circle with the structure and acrobatics of a showcase performance. Ultimately, viewers get to see a snapshot of a performer's best choreography to the music. And in a way, I feel this format captures the heart of Lindy Hop. The Jack and Jill format gives performers the ability to improvise in the moment to the best of their ability. The answers who would otherwise be stellar choreographers have to demonstrate how well they can social dance with someone who isn't their training partner. The beauty of this format is that it allows a dancer to adapt and improvise in hopes to make their spontaneous performance look as entertaining as if it was choreographed. The Jack and Jill format epitomizes the essence of partnered improvisation, which for me is the soul of Lindy Hop. Even though I love the Strictly Lindy competition, I think the Jack and Jill is equally as powerful. I think both formats represent Lindy Hop well. The most exciting Strictly performances often get people into Lindy Hop, but the social dancing is what keeps them. When people can make social dancing look entertaining, I tend to give them more props because of the nature of the challenge, juxtaposed to just doing choreography. For me, the answer on which one is better kind of depends on how I want to be inspired. Do I want to enhance my choreography or improve my improvisational skills? But since I'm a hardcore social dancer, I lean more toward the Jack and Jill side. Ultimately, the question lies with you. Which one do you think is better? Let me know in the comment section below. If I don't see your comments below, hopefully I get a chance to help some of you improve your dance skills in my class online. Take care.